A regular crystal radio works by receiving radio signals from the radio broadcast stations, harvest them and convert them to an audible signal. We can hear this through the headphones, earbuds or speakers. The original crystal sets can work on amplitude modulated signals or AM only. Many people think that FM crystal radios are not possible. How can FM radio transmissions be detected without batteries, however? With an indirect demodulation method called slope detection, we are now able to make crystal radios work on frequency modulated radios or FM as well. What are the differences between an AM crystal radio and an FM crystal radio? A medium wave amplitude modulated crystal radio can operate in distance longer than 20 kilometers. It's difficult to get an FM crystal radio working at that distance. An AM crystal radio requires the antenna to work. Adding an earth connection will help. An FM crystal radio does not require any earth connections. Adding an earth connection will actually make things worse. You can start with a one meter long telescopic antenna. Adding a drop cable of the same length to form a dipole may help. A 1.7 meters long Yagi antenna will provide a better result. For AM crystal radios, you can use a big loop antenna with a diameter of one meter with multiple turns to replace the long antenna and the earth connection. In an FM crystal radio, a one turn loop antenna with a diameter of 10 centimeters can work in areas of stronger signals. In an FM crystal radio, we select the frequency of the radio stations by controlling the capacitance and the inductance of the resonance circuit. Then we use the method called slope detection to convert the FM signal to an AM signal. The AM signal is then converted to an audible signal using our detector. The detector for FM crystal radios can be a diode, a MOS FET, or a crystal which can handle high frequencies above 120 MHz. To detect the signal from the FM carrier waves, we tune the frequency a little off the center frequency of the stations. As the FM carrier shifts its frequency according to waveform of the modulated music or speech, the resulting amplitude will change as well according to the waveform of the signal being carried. This is how slope detection is able to convert the carried signal from FM to AM. However, this method is at best an approximation, but not a linear conversion. To reduce the inherent defects of this method, the components in use must have a high Q factor.